Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Peppy. Today we are going to take a quick look at how to defeat Kelly the Frost Archer. Um, she has three moves that you need to look out for. One is her main uh, attack, which is um, a cone shot out in front of her. Three, three arrows shot out and just don't get hit by any three of them and you're good to go. Um, the other one is she goes invisible, she'll run around and then she will uh, stop and shoot the three arrows again. Uh, that can be seen, there's a kind of like a shimmer when she runs around, you can still see her. Um, and then the last attack, I've noticed she mainly only does it when she gets to like 50% or lower. Uh, she does like a, she shoots arrows into the sky, kind of like a volley and they'll come back down and freeze and they'll do a good chunk of damage. So you're going to want to um, avoid that. Um, I just seen Tristan, the uh, the bounty hunter here a while ago, so I'm being a bit careful going in here because I know he can walk in through here. Um, this pack right here, you don't actually have to kill these um, if you don't want to. They will walk down to where I am right now. Um, but I always like leave them up and like work around them every time they come down. But if, if you guys are want to be a bit safer, you can kill these. Um, because that's one thing that can kill you if you're in the middle of a boss fight. Um, and these guys come and aggro you as well. That could uh, that can be bad. So I'm gonna go ahead, let these guys walk back up, and then I will start the boss fight, and you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And guys, just before we get into the actual fight, if you guys do find this helpful, please do throw a like, throw a comment down below, um, and you know, do subscribe for more content if you feel like it. Anyway, let's hop straight into the fight. You're looking a little hot-blooded. Let me cool you off. Alright guys, and that is pretty much the boss fight. Um, as you guys can see, you can play around um, the wagon there in the yard a lot, even with that patrol coming to the left. As you saw at the end, the patrol that I killed at the very start, um, going into the camp, they respawned and they kind of made it a little bit hairy. If I if they had spawned sooner, or I was missing more Shadow Balls, 
um, than I already was. <laughs> uh, she wouldn't have been a low, as low, and I might have had to try and restart that fight. So, you know, it might be worth your while killing that patrol, the, the three-man patrol, so that you don't have to worry about um, that two-man patrol spawning on you, because you can just fight in that yard. Um, but either way, guys, as you saw, it's a very easy fight, in my opinion. Uh, you just have to dodge her main attack, um, either left or right, and you can go in for autos then, while she's in her animation, even, like you, like you saw me doing. Anyway, guys, if you did find the video helpful, please do throw a like, throw a comment down below, and do subscribe for more content. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.